Okay guys, we got the control panel back in and actually turned out really good. If you can see it's centered almost dead perfect right where we need it. And I measured around, we've got like a, about one and a sixteenth inch on each side in the upper part and about one and an eighth inch on the bottom, which is fine. I actually did want it just slightly higher than centered because uh just want clearance for this hinge here. And um, we had probably a little over eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch clearance. Now we have like maybe an extra sixteenth, so we might have close to two eighths clearance down here when I measured uh, to the edge. If you take a look and uh, see, it's about about one and an eighth, about one and an eighth to our mark there, and then on the sides and the upper, it's about one and a sixteenth. Maybe just a hair over one and a sixteenth, but it's not quite one and eight, but it, it's practically dead center. And uh, maybe give ourselves an extra sixteenth of an inch down here, and that, that's fine. Like I said, I need some clearance at the bottom of this to make sure this hinge can operate properly underneath there. But um, I don't necessarily think it's going to need that much clearance there anyway, because the hinge is going to be slightly recessed in the uh, front piece of wood there on the control panel box. But always good to have a little extra if you need it. But we cleaned it up. Like I say, they, there wasn't hardly any splintering on the top there. It's it's really a pretty clean hole, but on the bottom there was some splintering. And I came back with a file and cleaned that up. That was the worst part right there, where you see it's not dead round. I had to come back with a file and kind of clean some of that splintering up. It just uh, it just broke through really quick on me because, like I say, it's a big hole saw and it's a really powerful drill. And uh, I was almost all the way through the wood. I didn't think I was quite that close. And as soon as I started, Nick got a good a good grab on that wood. That hole saw had so many teeth hanging on to that chunk of wood it just tore it loose. And the rest of the hole turned out really well. I cleaned it up with a file just a little. But just that one place right there just had a little bit of splintering. And you'll never see any of it because the whole whole plastic box for the bottom side of the track ball will be hiding this entire thing. But one more one more thing down. Uh, we might just go ahead and uh, temporarily set the trackball in place from the underside to see how it looks and uh, to mark for our holes that we're going to have to drill. We're going to have to drill four holes to tap those little brass inserts in. I'll show you those right quick. bolts that are going to mount this in. They came with the kit and they have these little brass inserts. And what you have to do, probably the easiest way to do it anyway, is to take a track ball and temporarily, well this is upside down, uh, underneath the panel you temporarily set it in place and then uh, each of these four places here, you got one here and here and then you got another one here and here. It's the upper, lower, and the left and the right you can uh, actually run you a small drill bit through those holes while this is set in place temporarily and just real easily just make you a couple of marks with a drill bit where those holes are going to end up lining up and you can use a little bit smaller drill bit maybe an eighth of an inch or a little larger to go down in there and just mark your spots where those are going to have to be drilled and then remove your track ball and then use a little larger bit I think this requires a one quarter inch bit and uh, drill the holes on out where the marks are uh, one quarter inch in diameter with a one quarter inch bit and then you tap these little brass inserts into place and uh, then you put the track ball back and you run the bolts up through it and it will expand the brass inserts as it tightens into the threads that are inside the brass inserts and they'll kind of expand and get a bite on the inside of the wood and uh, you, you want to make sure that when you drill your holes you don't drill all the way through the control panel. I mean if you do it's not going to kill you because you're probably going to come back and put artwork over this, some kind of control panel overlay or something, but you don't want these brass inserts to go up in there probably too high or all the way to the end because once you start screwing into them they may may try to push out the top of the control panel. I haven't I haven't actually used these but I'm just guessing. Um, probably only want to go deep enough for these uh, inserts to go up into and uh, for the maximum length of the bolt to go up into. And uh, so like these bolts, they're the the thickness of the track ball plus it looks to me like 
maybe a little less than three quarters of an inch, maybe half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So you don't want to go any further than probably like I'd say half an inch up into here, maybe maybe just slightly more. And this isn't even three quarters of an inch, so you definitely don't want to go all the way through. But we'll measure it up and uh, we'll put the uh, track ball underneath it, insert the bolts, and then see how much of the bolt's still hanging out. And we'll measure that, and that's how deep we'll drill our holes. Okay, guys, I'm just doing a little test fit here. Um, on the Ultimart website, they say to drill pilot holes up through here and I'm gonna probably do that or at least mark where my holes are gonna go but uh, this is the bit that you'll eventually use to drill out the holes for the brass inserts to mount your track ball it's a one quarter inch bit and I just took it out of my kit here it was the largest bit in there so it's a one fourth inch bit and just to make sure it had a good snug fit with those brass inserts just in case they you know were gonna be a little loose I wanted them nice and snug I just drilled a, a test hole there, it's a one quarter inch, and I started to tap the brass fitting in there, and it does feel like it's going to fit good and snug, and it actually compresses the brass fitting slightly. Let me see if I can get this out. Might not be possible with my hand. Let me actually insert one of the bolts that go in here. Maybe I should try spinning it the other way, and it'll actually thread in. Okay, let me pull this out. You can see it's fitting pretty snug. I'm actually having a problem just pulling it out. I just barely tapped it in. Come on out. May not come out with the bolt insert. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, um, the design of these, they have little slits cut in the side. I think you can see it there. There's little slits cut in the side and when you press them down in a quarter inch holes the diameter or the yeah the diameter is just a little larger than a, what a quarter inch drill bit will make and so it compresses as you push it down in there and uh, the slots, I'm trying to get this where you can see it, there you go. Um, the slots will just kind of compress and there's one on each edge so there's four of them. Is that right? No, there's only two of them. Okay, I thought there was four. But there's one on each side there, and it compresses it. It squeezes it together when you push it down in the hole. You tap it all the way in, and it's kind of knurled on the edges, and it keeps a grip on the wood. Then when you run this uh, bolt down in there, it pushes it back out to its normal size, and it gets a bite on the inside of this hole really good and tight. So you do that for each one of them, and uh, mounts the track ball securely under there. Well, what we're going to do is uh well drop our bolt make sure you drop your bolt now now to center it up under here we're going to put it up under here temporarily and uh i'm going to take and cut this is an old paper towel roll it's actually kind of a thick one probably came off aluminum foil we're just going to cut some wedges out of this i'm going to cut down maybe about an inch or so probably a little less probably about half an inch and then I'm going to split across here. I'm just using an old coping saw that was handy. And make us some little wedges that we can wedge in around the upper part of the track ball where the housing for the ball is. And we're going to wedge it around at least four points, probably above, below, and to the left and the right, because this does have some play here. And that way it will center it up almost perfectly. And it'll keep it centered so we can flip the control panel over and uh, make some pilot holes for the holes that we're going to eventually drill out to mount this. So let me get that done and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so we just used our coping saw and we just cut a couple of pieces off the end of this. So we have a couple little couple little tiny tubes of these things and we're just gonna split those in half. So we take some scissors here. And you wanna have some pretty strong scissors if you're cutting thick cardboard. I'm just easing into these. And we're just going to cut it through on each side. You don't have to be perfect. Just going to kind of have them up. So we got two little identical wedges there. Make us two more here. And birds hollering in the next room. You can hear them. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with these. Let me get all my junk off of here. I've got 
drills and flashlights and everything. Scrap wood and trim bezels, drill bits. Oh Lord, bolts and scissors and rulers and cooking saws. And track balls. Okay, let me move the camera a little bit here. So we've got our four little wedges there, and we have our track ball here. I'm going to insert it from the underside. Let me make sure you guys are getting it. Yeah, you're getting it pretty good. Zoom in just a little. We're inserting it from the underside, and then we're going to put one of these wedges in. Put one there, put one opposite of it, and do the same thing around the other side. So you can do top, bottom, left, right, however it fits. The main thing is that you keep this centered, and since this is all the exact same thickness cardboard, it should keep it centered, and just the property of it having that curve in it pretty much going to center that track ball. You're not going to have to worry too much about it. Now you can go with something a little extra thick, you know, a little thicker than that. It could have went up just a little thicker than that, but that right there is going to be good enough. And it's keeping it spaced evenly from the sidewall so that when we go to drill our, our little pilot holes, we know that we're pretty much centered on that. And uh, it's going to leave room to put our little trim bezel over the top of this. And uh, the trim bezel won't be too much to one side or the other, which might possibly reveal a little bit as a hole. but once the artwork and all that stuff's on top, then uh, that stuff will be kind of covered anyway, possibly. But we're going to flip it over carefully right now, the way this is in place. Let's see if I can readjust one of these wedges just a little. This wedge could go that way slightly. There we go. We pretty much got it centered up there. We're going to flip the whole board over. Set it back down with the track ball in the center. Okay, and now we know it's centered pretty much. We just want to, you know, you want to make sure it's not rocked too much this way or this way. So we're going to measure to make sure that this part of the track ball here is uh, level out and back and level out and back here with the, the board itself, the control panel. And uh, might even make us a couple of marks. You could make a, a straight mark across here with a straight edge on the board up above and make sure, like at this point right here, it's a equal distance from here on the edge of the side of the control panel board as this side because if this let's say this was uh let's say five inches and then over here you're like four and a half inches where you're gonna have to take and twist this like counterclockwise just to even it up and then both of them will probably be like four and three quarters inches that way you know that it's pretty much perfectly centered and to be honest it's still gonna work if you're not that equal but it's gonna make it look better it's gonna give you an equal amount of clearance from here and here, if you're mounting anything over here, like um, right here, you've got the base of a joystick. And if you had this thing twisted too much that way, this part of the casing for the track ball might interfere with the base of the joystick, or at least make it a little harder to mount it because it'll be in the way of like some of your bolts or screws or something like that. And this will be a little farther away, so you might have to twist it slightly that way to kind of, you know, just even it up. But uh, right now, we're just going to do that, make a few marks, make sure we're evened up there. Zoom out here. And uh, we would do the same thing from down here. We want to make sure we're the same distance right here from the edge of the board as we are right here. That way we know it, we've got it in the sweet spot there. And then we'll come back in this hole. Let's see, where are we at? I think it's this hole, this hole, this hole, and that hole. And uh, make some marks down through there so that we can drill our pilot holes to hold the, the uh, track ball in place. So we'll do that, we'll be back in a second. All right guys, so we, uh, Got our track ball perfectly centered. Everything is measured out. I made a couple of marks down here near the bottom to make sure that we're not twisted left or right any. I made a couple of marks on top here to make sure the same thing. So we're pretty much level top to bottom. Uh, it was a little over two inches on each side here on the bottom and a little over five inches on each side on the top. And we just made sure it was equal distance on both of these points here. 
in both of these points here and then I even measured from the side of the trackball casing to the edge of the control panel and from here to there I think we were off like an eighth of an inch from side to side uh, we were something like 12 and almost three quarters over here and we we're exactly 12 and three quarters over there and that's a tiny discrepancy it's only like an eighth of an inch and it was probably where I went to drill my trackball probably got the hole saw off just slightly this is dead center. I mean, this is as close as you're going to get anyway. Whenever you're doing this, you're going to have little discrepancies. But we got it centered as well as possible. Made sure we've got clearance for everything around there. And the trackball has its wedges in, so we know it's centered in the hole, so we have room for the little little uh, grommet or bezel thing that, you know, kind of goes over there to kind of hide your hole. And uh, we're ready to drill. And what we had to do is change to a 3 16 inch bit. Let me make sure that's the size I got. Yes, a 3 16 inch bit because the one quarter inch bit is what you're going to come back. These are the, the pre-drilled holes and we're going to come back and put a one quarter inch bit in there and widen them a little more so that the uh, little brass inserts will go in there. They won't go in this size of a hole, but you can't put a one quarter inch bit down into the holes in the casing of the trackball. It just won't fit. So we leave the casing where it is, hold it in place, don't let it move. We drop the 3 16 inch bit in there, make us some small starter holes, and once we do all four of them, we remove the trackball, open them up a little wider with the 1 quarter inch bit. Then we insert the brass inserts and put the trackball back in place and run our bolts in, and that's pretty much got it mounted. Now we will come back later and take the trackball loose. We're just doing this temporarily because we've got to uh, come back and uh, do all kind of other things to the control panel first and uh, get the artwork, place glass and all that on there. But uh, since it may be a little while before I get the permanent artwork, uh, we may reinstall this before everything's completely done, you know, just to make sure things work when we start doing wiring and such. But um, right now, uh, we wanted to make sure we didn't have the drill bit going too deep. And luckily, when this drill bit is bottom all the way out, it's almost the exact depth we need to go through the casing of the trackball and into the control panel without popping out on the other side. You want to make sure you don't do that if you don't want holes on the opposite side. Um, we took the bolts and uh, measured them, and we pretty much got the drill bit set to the exact depth of the bolts because the bolts extend half an inch when you drop them down into the casing of the trackball like that. I don't know if you can tell, but when you measure this, take a little ruler measure, you're almost exactly half an inch extra that you've got. And that's fine because this control panel is almost three quarter inch thick. So if we drill the depth of the exact length of this bolt, we should still have almost a quarter inch left before we pop through the other side. So right now we're just gonna go ahead and pre-drill these. Make sure we got our drill set to the drill setting. And be careful too, you don't want to go crazy with this because you are going to you know, take a few shavings of the plastic off of that casing of the trackball whenever you do this because it's just being used as a guide. So you don't want to sit here and wall of the drill around. You're going to damage the casing on your trackball. Uh, and what you also might want to do is just barely start the holes. If you want to just barely start the holes to make a marked position and then pull it out of the way, come back and either finish with this and then do your one quarter inch if you want to do that or just go ahead and stick your quarter inch bit in here and finish drilling, you know, about a half inch deep. You can do that if you're afraid that you're going to damage your housing. But the housing, you know, it's strong enough that it can guide this drill bit and it shouldn't really hurt it much. It might get a little bit of plastic shavings in there, but that's exactly how they say to do it on the Ultimart website. So. Here we go. Anyway, we got all that done. Try not to drop any of our shavings down in their trackball. Now we're going to get a vacuum cleaner and just clean this up, remove the trackball, and then we'll come back and widen the holes to one quarter inch for our uh, inserts. Okay guys, uh, did a real good job. You see that we got centered up really well. So our little wedges right here, they done the job. They kept the trackball dead center. These are almost equal all the way around. I'd say around a half an inch, let's see. Yeah, they're centered dead one half inch away from the main hole there. All of them look really great. I can't believe it came out quite that accurate, but actually looks, I mean, dead half an inch from the edge of the hole to the center of these holes. 
So we want to widen these up to a quarter inch so that we can install the uh, brass inserts. First thing we want to do is take a look here. You see these are the bolts that are going to install the track ball. They go up through here, they extend into the wood, and we measured that. And when we measured it, we see it's about half an inch. You can see it may be just shy of half an inch by maybe a 30 seconds of an inch. So we're going to make sure we don't go over half an inch down into that wood. So what we did, we already have the other holes drilled to the correct depth. We don't want to go any, any further past that, so we took our one quarter inch bit, put it on here, and we put a piece of tape on here and marked it at the half inch mark. So we've got that about half an inch. If you can see in the light, the tip of the bit may go just slightly past half an inch, but we're just going to go to the tape just about starts touching the wood and we're going to back off. And that's deep enough where it won't go through the control panel, but it'll leave enough of a hole that the bolt can go down in there without any trouble. So we're going to go ahead and widen those and, and don't get crazy moving your drill all around because you can wallow the hole out too much and the inserts won't fit good and you'll have to put Bondo or something in there or do something or, or your inserts will be loose. So just let it kind of guide itself and just let it fall down into the hole and just widen it just a little bit. You don't want to pull to one side or the other either because you might widen the hole off to one side and it doesn't kind of widen it equally and then when you set your track ball over it the bolt won't line up with the insert, which there's a slight possibility of that anyway because sometimes these drills will start grabbing hold of the softest part of the wood and start drilling to one side or the other, but we hope it will stay pretty centered. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Zoom in just a little bit here. Okay, went half an inch down into that one, and we didn't pop through the other side. It is kind of close to the edge of your plywood, so your plywood may try to chip a little bit, so just be prepared for it. You will not see it once you install the track ball. Okay, got that one widened. Go to the next one. It almost stops itself when it bottoms out in the pre-drilled hole at the correct depth, but you still want to watch your tape. Okay, there's the last one. And we'll get the vacuum and clean our mess up here, and we'll come back in just a second.